And welcome back, folks. I do hope that the video quality does not suffer too much. I'm trying out some new settings right now, which should help to actually fix a few things on my end. I'm really hoping that it doesn't impact the game too much or anything like that, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, but we've lost our elements. I believe you can go looking for her, but... Eh. You want to go back to Termina? Yeah, let's go back. And I also do apologize, I am still suffering from a bit from my uh, sinus infection. So, um, I will try to mute any coughs. I, I've been able to talk pretty well without, uh, without coughing too much. So I believe I should be okay. Oh, this music is just melting it. And we will have to take a quick stop in the element store. Said I believe you can chase after her, but... Hello, sir. Overseer, take time off. Me rest, too. Fair enough. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the Dragon's Tale! Uh, what do you think of Termina? Uh, we love it. Thank you. Hehehe! <laughs> the better tasting it is! Right, I think we've already been over through this. Just trying to kind of reclaim myself. Kills me, um... During 4th of July, I was uh, lighting a sparkler for... Oh. Hello. The general and his men are headed for Fort Dragonia. There's been word that the major power of the East, poor, is up to something suspicious. They seem to have heard the rumors of the frozen flame in El Nido, and are coming to investigate. My, then that means the poor army might invade this town any time now. I wonder if we'll be alright. Yes, that is why we are moving to the fort for a while. That fort is far from town, so it is not used normally, but it has good defenses. I was ordered to remain at the manor and protect Miss Riddle, but... She felt very uneasy about the way General Viper was acting before he left, so... Oi, sir! Did you hear that? When I was snoozing away in Goldov, Lynx and his mom hightailed it out of the manor! That fort's supposed to, uh, supposedly a ruin built by the extinct Dragonians. I heard they've been all kinds of mystic rituals there. It's said that the Dragon Tear was needed for the rituals. Bloody bastards, what are they up to now? Serge, there's no problem. Sure, this is no longer our problem. Shit. <laughs> if we don't stop these buggers now, they're gonna cause some major hell around here. I think I screwed up your reading, but... Fort Dragonia is on top of Mount Pyre, southeast of here. It'll be hard to get there by land, so the question now is, how are we going to get a boat? Blonde braids? A red blouse? That sounds like the description of that thief from the Radical Dreamers. And that red bandana. He is just like the ghost Karsh was describing. So what? You want to take us on or something? Sorry, Dory, but we're in a bit of a rush to that Fort Dragonia of yours. What business do you have at the fort? That makes me even more suspicious. I will draw my sword if need be. Oh, Glenn, stop that. Your brother would never have drawn a sword in such circumstances. Leave my brother out of this. Oh, I don't get your knickers in a knot. I don't care if you draw your sword or what, but I ain't stopping for you. See ya! Alright, forgive me for my rash behavior. Come to think of it, I really have no interest in who you are. Really, I only want to know the truth of what is happening here. I shall follow my own way to find the truth. Hmm. If you intend to go to the fort, I would offer you a word of advice. When you get on your boat, first head north, then east. You should find a small island there. Retired Dragoon now lives there. Find him and ask for his advice. There are many frightful rumors about that fort, you know. You never know what to expect there. Oh, 
All we need to do is to find a boat. Let's get a move on it. Well, we kind of already have a boat, but I would like some elements. Oh, God. Anyway, I uh, lighting a sparkler for uh, my friend's kid, and she dropped it as I was lighting it right onto my thumb, which is my left thumb, my gaming thumb. So, computer games doesn't really hurt all that much, but this is actually somewhat painful. Let's get two of these. Let's get a couple aqua balls. How much money? Oh, we've got so much money. Let's grab two of these. A couple upheavals. How many braces do we have? Five, that's fine. Twenty-two, we're fine. Ointment, uh, we're going to... Here, let's grab a few of them. Medicine, sure, let's grab some of them. Capsule, medium HP, sure. Alright. Let's do some equipaging. Uh, elements. Allocate. Um... Where's all my fireballs? Damn it! Fireballs are cheap. Sorry! Nope, nope. Fireballs. Buy five. Alright. Uh, elements. Allocate. What the fudge? Oh, there they are. Let's get, uh, two of them. Maybe an uplift. And a... Tablet. Level two. Let's get a magma bomb in there. Maybe an arrow saucer. And... Sure, let's get an upheap. Oh, that's a level three. Uh, that's a level three. We'll do a plus one. This is level three here. Let's get a upheaval and a bush basher. And let's get two fire pillars. All right, surge. Let's give you a aqua ball and a bush basher. Guile! Let's give you a... a people. Alright, we're good! Haha! <clears throat> oh, equipment for a kid. Oh my god. Uh, we definitely want to turn that bronze. Let's go see the smith real quick. I believe... nope, down here. It's funny, the blister is like, right there. Right on the pad of my thumb. <laughs> Suffer for the game. Suffer for the game. <laughs> Welcome. This is the official blacksmith of the KC Dragoons. We carry only the best. Come and take a look. We would like to forge a bronze dagger. Yes. I'm sure we will love it. We have no iron, though. Uh, all right. Rainbow. Rainbow does become important later on in the game. In fact, Rainbow becomes vitally important at the end of the game. Like most Square uh, Squaresoft games, it, well, it really becomes the ultimate weapons, so to speak. <laughs> ah. Bum, 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 ba dum, bum, 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 ba dum, bum, ba dum, bum, 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 bum. Korcha! You guys need to cross the sea? 
And I might, just might, think about lending you my boat. With two conditions. Ha! With that clunky boat of yours, I don't think we're going to survive a round trip. But I guess this ain't the time to be ticky. So, Korcha, what are your conditions? First, if you ever find the Dragon Tear, give it to me. Uh, the other condition is, once all the ruckus is over, uh, I want you to... What was that? Stop mumbling and speak up. I can't hear you. I, uh, uh, I want you to be my w wife. What? Huh? What did you just say? I said I want you to be my wife. Uh, oh my gosh, you don't mess with me. I'm going to kick your ass so hard you'll kiss the moons. I'm not joking. To tell you the truth, I, uh, that it, it was love at first sight. Hmm. Oh, you know who I am, don't you? Yeah, you're some kind of thief, ain't you? Don't you worry, I don't care about your past, and I don't want you to feel forced. We can wait until all this fuss is over, so please. Mm. I'll just tell him you will. Oh! Nut shot! Oh! Surge, this is none of your business. It's me own problem. Oh, jeez. Okay, understood. But this ain't something I can agree to on a whim. I'll consider it until I settle the score with Lynx, that is. That's about the best I can promise. Can't guarantee you anything, boy. Oh, excuse me. All right, that's all I need to for now. Okay, I'll lend you the boat. What was that Glenn guy saying earlier? Something about going to see an old man on a small island to the east? Hey, you be careful with yourself from now on. Just remember that your life is not your own anymore. You're carrying my wife to be. Uh. <laughs> Do you want me to come with you? Uh, sure. We're going to keep our party the way it is, though. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, folks. Remember that I'm just lending you my boat. Don't you dare sink it. Um, okay, bye. Woo! Yes! Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. So we now actually do have control over a boat. I believe this is actually the Hermit's Island. Oh. Yes, Hermit's Hideaway. It's kind of early in the game to get a boat, but... happened here? Did Lynx do this? That's correct. Hmm, maybe not? The correct answer is, I did this under Monsieur Lynx's orders. Salut, Serge. Did you miss moi? Not you again. Tsk, tsk, tsk. <laughs> Excusez-moi, Serge, but do you want to know why I burned this place to the ground? Yes. Well, first of all, to teach you all a lesson. And second of all, to get rid of that geezer who lives here. He is an ally of the Acacia Dragoons, and I hear he's quite skilled. I was disappointed to see that the geezer isn't here. I wonder where he went. And one more thing, Serge. Monsieur Lynx gave moi one more order. That is to slow down your pursuit. Here I go. Well. Bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Enfin. Take all the time you wish. Um... That really wasn't all. Damn it! That's not gonna be enough. Oh, wow! 50 damage. Jeez. That was kind of rude. But, Dash and Slash should make you feel a little better. Maybe not. Alright.
moonbeams? Oh, that's probably not good. Oh, that really wasn't that bad. Uh... Wondong! Boop! Alright. Uh, let's... I want to get a pilfer in. <coughs> nice! What do we get? Moon glasses. Photon ray? Why do you have photon ray? Hey, you can't go twice! Friggin' hacks. She's almost dead, so let's just uh, drop the recover all on every. Well, you know, let's just poke. Mon dieu! Moi, is difficile! Difficile, difficile! That wasn't even a boss fight. Photon beam. Oh la la, you really are strong. Pray for, Surge. Please, Surge, turn back now. She is nothing but bad luck. She will bring nothing but misfortune to your life. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Are you one of Lynx's minions? No? Actually, I see that you are not. It must have been that munchkin that just flew away. Miss Riddle has informed me that Lynx and the General were heading to Fort Draconia. I played it safe and went into hiding for a while, and it looks like Lynx did pay me a visit. I'm sure the General has no idea what happened here. Lynx is the one behind all this. I had a feeling something like this might happen. That is why I made a sure to build a sturdy stronghold underground. I believe it should still be intact. Are you here to ask me questions? Come, there's no need to be shy. Okay. Hello. I see. So you have met Miss Riddle and Glenn. Yes, I once wielded a sword as a proud member of the Acacia Dragoons. Glenn's father, Garai, the blacksmith, Zappa, and I used to tear up the battlefield. But that was a good fifteen years ago. When Garai lost his life on the Central Continent, I vowed to become his son's guardian. I officially retired four years ago, after Dario received his father's sword, the Ein Lanzer. I have been here ever since, living a carefree life away from the rest of the world. However, Dario is no longer with us. Life is so unpredictable. It was then that Lynx approached General Viper. He spoke of the legendary treasure, the Frozen Flame, which is able to heal all illness and fulfill any dreams. I do not know what this man Lynx is plotting, but I believe General Viper intends to overthrow the nation of Poor with the power of this legendary flame. Poor is a nation governed by militarism and has brought on suffering to many people on the central continent of Zanan. Perhaps the General envisions a bright and peaceful world, much like Guardia was at one time. Or, is he planning to find the answer as to why he, uh, we have continued to hurt and kill each other since antiquity? In any case, I no longer wish to involve myself in any conflicts. Besides, there is no way I would want to face General Viper in battle. Young one, should you plan to engage in battle with Lynx, beware. He is a fearsome man. I suggest you rest here for the night and leave in the morning. There are many cursed spirits wandering around the seas around here. Rumor has it they attack ships and suck the souls out of humans. I have heard rumors about this accursed ghost ship. What? A ghost ship? Ha! You're trying to scare me. Don't make me laugh. Do not take the sea lightly, young lady. Mankind knows only but the land and the surface of the sea. 
No man can truly know what hides beneath the waves. Take care of yourself. Alright, folks. Well, that looks like a pretty good time to cut, then. I just want to loot around this guy's house, make sure I don't find anything that I uh, would want to steal from him. So, as always, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, folks.